Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well, and you've most likely come into this video thinking, what the heck is going on? Well, uh, I'm going to explain it and hopefully be very direct and cut and dry with the whole thing because I would much rather uh, get my Ari Lennox review done than talk about this. But uh, yes, all over the internet, uh, everybody's talking about the fact that uh, Drake legitimately did actually DM me some very uh, mad, salty DMs that were weird and awkward. He knows my rating system. You can't destroy me with my own rating system, dude. It's my rating system. Also really weird that he would bring up the race of somebody's partner, uh, even if it is, I guess, in his own uh, dumb way, like uh, supposed to be positive or like a compliment. But anyway, I was doing my thing, minding my own business on Wednesday night, as I said in my recent video uh, about Drake DMing me. And uh, yeah, Drake just sort of uh, threw it down. Not the cookie recipe. Look, he sent me these messages and right away the gears in my head start turning. Uh, obviously, you know, we're in a choose your own adventure situation here. What do you do? Do you ignore it? Do you fire back? Do you post it and share with the world that Drake is hating on you for some dumb reason. Firing back, obviously an option and a whole lot of low hanging fruit that could have been thrown Drake's way uh, if I wanted to, but I thought that was um, kind of silly and beefing with Drake in the DMs would just be like really petty and dumb because honestly, uh, I, I'm just a reviewer. I, I don't know the guy personally. I don't know anything about the guy other than stuff that, I, that I've seen and I've heard on the internet. Never met him. Don't know his vibe. Don't know his energy. Don't really know anything about him that uh, you guys, you know, don't uh, already know from just being online and hearing about him. I thought getting personal and getting in his face and getting angry would just be kind of dumb and pointless. And I also thought it would be quite trashy of me to, uh, you know, go onto the internet and uh, say, oh, a oh, drink, you have to be, look, 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 here it is. Here it is, bad drinks, bad drinks, bad drinks. I thought that would be. Uh, not only a little silly, but also what he kind of obviously wanted. Ignoring was an option, and I sort of decided to do that at first, but then uh, my mind started moving further, and I was like, how can I turn this into content? Like, obviously, I can't share the DMs with everybody because that would be silly and trashy. I could tell people he DM'd me, but like, if people don't know what the DMs are, who cares? I know, make up a DM. And the, the two possibilities that I had kicking around in my head were, one, the option that uh, I ended up going with, the cookie recipe, um, which a uh, shout out to Austin for the writing. getting the images for the Drake DMs together, because obviously those are doctored. They're not real. Drake didn't really send me a vegan <laughs> cookie recipe, uh, but they did look very good and they looked very convincing. And uh, again, Austin, they did an amazing job on pulling those together. So yeah, that was the first option. The one that uh, I ultimately ended up going with. Uh, the other one bumping around in my head was Drake DMing me to ask me about advice on what he could say to a girl he has a crush on. And then the rest of the video is me giving him advice on that topic. Uh, I, I really would like to exist in the timeline where I went that route. Uh, it would have been funny to see if things played out any differently but you know, we make the choices that we do. But uh, yeah, I thought it would be funny to make content out of this, basically doctor and make up DMs and uh, just make them so absurd and so silly that anybody who sees me reading them aloud is gonna look at this and be like, Drake didn't send him this. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is dumb. Why would Drake send anybody a cookie recipe in the middle of the night? Doesn't make any sense. That's not the truth. This is just a shit post. That's just dumb, which it was. It was in fact, a shit post. I could have come out with that same freaking video two months ago and it would have had the same effect. It would have gained the same attention because it's just a lie. It's just a silly made up thing. And the DMs that I was essentially responding to uh, didn't exist in the minds of anyone. Nobody knew that they were uh, real until Drake decided to post the salty ass DMs. <laughs> that he sent me to his Instagram story. Again, choose your own adventure. I was choosing my adventure, Drake was choosing his. And I thought with the posting of that video, the cookie recipe video, a couple things could have happened. Drake could have seen it, ignored it. Drake could have seen it and then saw, okay, well, you know what? This guy's being silly. He's being a little tongue in cheek. He's obviously not taking the situation too seriously because I'm not. 
Anybody coming at this thinking like, oh, there's beef. Oh, they're they're beefing. They're beefing it out. Like, I, I really do not have anything personal against Drake. Do I think he's made uh, some very mediocre records over the years? Yes. He's made some very good and great ones as well. It's always the negative ones that stick out in people's minds the most, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the nature of reviews, kind of the nature of criticism, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I hope that Drake would see that the video is lighthearted, wholesome, well-intentioned, just a little silly, and uh, would maybe respond back and say, hey, you know what? That was kind of funny. That was kind of silly and dumb and whatever, you know, no hard feelings. And it could just be maybe like our little inside joke because uh, I knew that I was being a, 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 a little, a little, a little uh, playful boy. I thought Drake would see that as well and, uh, you know, potentially, uh, you know, do the bigger man thing and just like uh, let things chill, let bygones be bygones and so on and so forth. Maybe, you know, sort of privately bury the hatchet before it uh, becomes a thing. Yeah, I was hoping that Drake would uh, just sort of see that I'm being a little playful, a little lighthearted um, and not uh, uh, bringing any, you know, sort of ill will toward him. Uh, but instead, Drake chose to opt for the saltiest of uh, the several directions that he could have gone in. And that is, well, if he's not going to respond or share with the world uh, my angry DMs toward him and insult me back, I'm, I'm going to share them with everyone. everyone. I don't know. It's it, it, it's not the kind of look I would want to have, uh, which is why uh, which is why I did not share the DMs in the first place, uh, you know, myself. But uh, that is apparently the look that he wanted to have, and um, I, I guess he's having it, and he must be uh, comfortable with having it, or else he wouldn't have done it, I suppose. And um, uh, look, outside of that, there, there's not really a whole lot else to say. I'm hoping to, uh, after this weekend, just get back to normal life, uh, doing reviews, being a bit of a, uh, you know, playful guy here and there. Now, look, I'll be an honest John here and say that uh, I've, I'm a bit of a memer. I've been known to share a Drake meme or two or three or 400. However, can't act like those memes don't help that man's career. And Drake is a bit of a memer himself. You know, he likes uh, memes about himself and he shared quite a few Meek Mill memes after he, uh, you know, mudded Meek and that uh, whole little beef they had going. And, uh, you know, there are lots of memes that are made about me that are unflattering or sort of poke fun at sensitive areas that uh, I'm not the biggest fan of. And if Drake wanted to go on any of his uh, platforms and share a meme about me, uh, he, he's certainly allowed to. I, I wouldn't begrudge him that. But, uh, you know, meme or no meme, I'm, I'm not going to jump in your DMs and duke it out with you. I, I just think that's a little, um, a little silly. So there you go. Setting the record straight. My thoughts on that. I hope all of you are doing well. Wish the best for you. Uh, wish the best doubly, uh, for the Drake fans. Wish the best triply, uh, for Drake himself. Hopefully past this point, we can bury the hatchet, would be open to an interview or would be totally fine. Even with a message back, uh, from Drake saying, Hey, things are chill. You're great. You're awesome. It, whatever water under the bridge. And, and if you did happen to send me such a DM, I would not share it. I would not make a big deal of it again. Wish Drake the best and, uh, looking forward to uh, more Drake music in the future. Fingers crossed. Hopefully some more, uh, bangers coming down the pipe as I'm running through the six with my woes. All right. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Regularly scheduled programming past this point. Uh, let's do it. Uh, Anthony Fantano, Drake forever.